Hi, welcome to Pine Hollow 10 minute field trips on a very rainy day. Now I like rainy days every now and then. My name is Anita Sanchez and we're going to explore a little bit of Pine Hollow on this rainy day. Rain can be a pain if you want to go outside and do something, but rain is also really important for all the plants and animals. Without rain, the plants couldn't get a drink, the birds couldn't get a drink, the frogs wouldn't have a place to live because their pond was, would dry up. So we need some rain. So let's explore the trail and watch the rain coming down. The roots of the tree suck up water from the ground, the rainwater that's soaked into the soil, and then the water rises through the tree. It goes all the way up through the trunk to the very top of the tree, all the way up, and also all the way out each branch to the very tip of the branches. So the rainwater flows through the whole tree and makes each little leaf and needle and bud and flower grow. So without rain, the trees would not be able to survive. None of these plants here that you see could live without rain every now and then. Of course, rain can be hard for some creatures if it's too much rain, especially in the spring when it's time for the birds to nest. Too much rain can be sort of hard on them because the baby birds are young and haven't grown all their feathers yet. So too much rain can make it a hard season for the babies. So where could you build your nest where you wouldn't get too wet? Well, you could find a hole in a hollow tree, and there's lots of those here at Pine Hollow. Or one clever bird figured out a great way to get out of the rain, stay warm and dry. She built her nest up here in the rafters of the tool shed. You can see the nest there. That's the nest from last year. And then there's a second nest from the year before. So this kind of bird, which is called a Phoebe, has come here for at least two years in a row and used this nice tool shed here to have a nice, safe, warm place to raise her babies. So even on a rainy day when it's just pouring outside, the baby birds will be warm and safe inside. It's too early in the spring yet for the Phoebe to build a new nest, but it's possible that she'll start nesting again here in the tool shed soon. Without rain, all of the ponds at Pine Hollow wouldn't be as nice and full of water as they are. The ponds at Pine Hollow were made by people, by somebody digging a big hole in the ground, and then it filled up with water. Now, there are several reasons why they named the ponds here at Pine Hollow. One reason is just because they're beautiful for a place to, for people to come and enjoy nature. But the other reason is for wildlife habitat. Because a pond like this, with these plants, which are called cattails, growing along the side of the pond, is really great habitat for frogs, for turtles, for ducks, for fish, So the rain is filling up the pond. In fact, it's almost overflowing. This will be a great place for frogs to come and lay their eggs, for ducks to come and swim around. Let's take a look in the bird book for more information about the kind of bird that is smart enough to build its nest in out of the rain. It's a bird called an Eastern Phoebe. And it gets that name because that's the sound it makes. Phoebe, Phoebe. Phoebe. It's got a forked tail and it will bob its tail up and down. 
like that sometimes. So if you ever see a small gray bird with a white stomach bobbing its tail up and down, that's the Phoebe. And you can see the book tells us it likes to build a nest inside buildings. Sheltered niches on buildings are among the Phoebe's favorite home sites. And Phoebe's will often come back to the same building year after year after year. And then the babies that grew up in that nest, they all come back and build a nest in the same place that their parents built a nest. But sometimes the Phoebe's have to go out into the rain. The mother and the father birds have to go out there to get food for their young. They have to find worms or bugs that they can bring back to the nest to feed the young. So how do they stay dry when it's raining outside? Well, this is a feather. It's not a Phoebe feather. It's way too big for a Phoebe feather. It's actually a chicken feather. But I got it out so we could do a little experiment and see what happens when water, when drops of water, fall on a feather. The feather is a really good raincoat. Look at that. Drops of water don't go, th go through the feather. They just beat up and run right off the feather. So Phoebes, who like all birds, have bodies covered with feathers, it's like they're wearing a really good raincoat. So the baby birds, they're soft and fluffy. They have little fluffy feathers. They don't have the good raincoat feathers yet. But once the birds have grown up, they can be out in the rain, at least for a while, without getting soaking wet because the water just runs off their feathers. So the rain has finally stopped. The sun has come out. Time to put the umbrella away. But next time it rains, you might want to go outside and have fun just splashing around in the rain. Thanks for listening. See you next time.